All right. Hey, okay, we're back from our trip. Um, one last video that we're going to do just to summarize the trip that we had. Did you have a good time, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, experience of a lifetime? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do this video on the flight from New York to Indianapolis, but decided that we were too tired and Joe slept the whole time, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about our trip and see if we can sum things up. Okay. Now, we're gonna we're gonna go through our list of the top places we went to and the top things we saw and stuff like that. But what about what about other things like just little things that you're gonna remember from the trip that's not on our list and stuff like that. Things things that really jumped out at you. How about this? Where was the best pizza? Well, obviously we had a lot of pizza there, right? Where was the best pizza? Venice. Venice. Yeah. Um, that was on the Rialto Bridge, right? Mm -hmm. That was right there when we went. We had lunch there. What what? Uh, What'd y'all have on that pizza? Um, artichokes, uh, peppers, yeah. um, ham, yeah. pepperoni, black olives. Black olives, yeah. So that was a pretty good mix. Now, this wasn't so much of the same style as the other pizzas mm -hmm. that we had, right? It wasn't like the margarita pizzas and stuff like that. Um, what'd you think of like the margarita pizza, the um, like the one we had in Rome for for dinner that night? Mm. You don't, you okay, like, I like the one in Rome. You like the one in Rome? Here, I you? like, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was good too. That was good. Yeah, so um, you didn't, you had different pizza in Bologna, right? You yeah. had those slices with sausage and ham, uh, yeah. sausage and it's mushroom. It was like deep dish. It was like a deep dish, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, what about pasta? Any good pastas that you thought? I like the one in. Uh... Hmm. Let me think. You didn't like the spaghetti bolognese quite as much, did you? I liked it. It was, pretty it was good. all right. Yeah. All right. Was it was it as good as our spaghetti? I make nah. spaghetti. No, our my, I make better spaghetti yeah. than that. Okay. Thanks. Um, anything else about the trip that really you know that that uh, that you're gonna remember that that was really cool type of thing that. Uh, I didn't see it, but Logan's ice cream getting stolen by a seagull. Oh yeah, you're gonna and remember then, Logan. Yeah. Logan had his ice cream stolen by a seagull. Yes. Yeah, we weren't there for that. Yeah, right? I wasn't there. Yeah. Remember we went to that Chinese restaurant in Lucerne? Yeah. And you had duck, didn't yes, you? Yes, I had duck. Duck, yeah. That's, that's all. Apparently, we're coming down to food options as a lot of it and stuff like that. That time on the bus, anything fun on the bus ever happened? Telling jokes on the bus? Nah. No, you're not going to remember that? Nah. That was all pretty lame. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody came up with anything. Nobody came up with anything too good. All right. Um, cool. So let's talk about, uh, about the trip. So... We've broken it down and we've we've gone through it and we've decided what are Joe's and this is all gonna be Joe stuff here. So what are Joe's mm -hmm. top places we went to? Yep. And uh, and then we'll talk about the top things that we saw, right? And yep. so um, so if you break it down, we got ten different places that we attended that we went to during this trip. Um, I'm not counting ends, the perfume factory, I guess, because we didn't actually see the city, right? So 10 towns that we saw our cities, um, our top five cities. Okay, so what's your what's your number five city? Um, Rome. Rome. Yeah, you can't argue with that, right? Mm -hmm. That was just a lot of walking, wasn't it? But mm -hmm. there's so many cool things. I just, you know, everything was so old and everything like that. Number four. Uh, Pisa. Pisa. Wasn't that cool? I just, you know, there's not a... It's not a whole big place like like Rome or all these other places. Not a lot of places to go, but that area in Pisa was really neat. I gotta agree. Number three, Verona. Verona, yeah, you're gonna see this at uh, you know, Verona's pretty popular for the Juliet's house and uh, the arena is really cool. But we also like the castle there, right? Yeah, so we kind of got off on our own way and found that found that castle that wasn't on the part of the tour. So that was good. Number two, Florence. Florence. What was good about Florence? Yeah, well, I mean just. Right. Uh, you know, no, I, I, I agree. Actually, Florence is probably my favorite place of, of all, so I, I agree with you, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of hard. So compared to the other places, you know, like Venice and stuff like that, what's the one thing that you didn't like in these cities? Though? You got you got something that you didn't like? I know there's something you didn't uh, like. People trying to sell you stuff on yeah, the street. Yeah, st people trying to sell you stuff on the street, and that started in Bologna, didn't it, where we started getting yeah. mad all the time. These guys coming up to you, and what are they trying to sell? Chargers? Uh Selfie sticks. Selfie sticks. <laughs> the chargers and selfie sticks were the big things, weren't they? Yeah. And that thing that they throw on the ground and it would squeak. Yeah. Yeah. How many times? And they didn't they, even they, work. They, they, I, I, I think they were making that up. Yeah. Personally. That, yeah. Those. They didn't work. I think Logan bought a. No, bought it was a, a, Micah. a uh, Micah. Bought one of those. 
No, he Mike. bought something, but he busted at the at the. That, uh, was, that was Micah. Micah. Yeah, Micah. And something yeah, he, he, he just squeezed it and, and, squeezed, and it, it, and it broke. went all over a salad, right? Yeah. Um, but no, Logan got the laser pointer. Right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, so those were that was pretty nasty and everything like that. And that was very common in Italy, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, so then, what's your number number one place? Monaco. Monaco. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, but that I I agree. I thought Monaco was really cool. Just it was up on the ridge that we were spent all that time, and you could look down and and, and see the harbor and stuff like yeah. that in the Mediterranean. But you're going to see there's more about Monaco that I actually we really liked. We saw the changing of the guard there, right? Yeah. Um, so that was cool. Well, when we talk about the things we did and, and our, t our list of top things that we did, I've actually got a list of, what do I got, 35 okay. different things that we identified. Um, so bottom five and things like, remember, we did the leather demo. We got the, got the pocket knives in Lucerne. Um, I put the pizza place in Bologna on there because I just thought that was a cool experience because that's where we really sat down first and had pizza, right? Yeah. Um, fondue night didn't go over quite as well as it could have, yeah. right? And the boat ride to Lucerne. Um, I thought Lake Lucerne and everything that was really neat, that boat ride was pretty cool, but it was just a boat ride. It was, huh? it was just a boat ride. It yeah. wasn't like anything special. Yeah, so that's that's Joe's top, our bottom bottom things on the list. Um, 26 through 30, we got the Florence Marketplace. What'd you buy in the Florence Marketplace? Yeah, leather gloves. Leather gloves. Guy, you like your leather gloves, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. The Changing of the Guard in Monaco at the Monaco Palace. I thought that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. 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 The church in Pisa, so we were in Pisa, we had the church and we had the acoustic dome, the acoustic dome whatever and the, and the leaning called, tower. The, the Baptista or something like that, yeah, and the leaning tower, but, um, and so the church and the acoustic dome are both in this group, um, Galileo Museum was, Greg was mm -hmm. very excited about that, and yeah. Joe not as crazy about that, all right, um, 21 through 25, we got Parthenon, Pantheon, Panthenon, but, yeah, yeah, um, I really like that, because I thought that was cool, because it was so big, yeah. I think we come because remember we walked to walk to come around come around the corner and into the square and then you look and that thing was just absolutely huge. I thought that was really impressive. Um, Florence, there's that section out on statues. Yeah, right in front of that. Uh, the, there's a church there, right there. Yeah, that, something that, like that. That, that uh, temple and there's all those statues there. It was included the statue of David, although it was a replica yeah. of the statue of David and everything like that. Um, a lot of naked guys, right? Um, where are we? Uh, we're at 23. We're at 23. So Mediterranean Sea. Um, that was really what I was looking forward to for the trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but the, what's the problem with Mediterranean Sea? It's just... It was too rocky. It was too rocky. The beaches, we, we were, you know, it would have been nice if it was sand beaches, but they were big rocks. And I got to tell you, I still have a bruise on the bottom of my foot from one of those rocks where I, I fell and ha caught myself and put my foot down and bruised the bottom of my foot. Yeah. Um, I could have handled the cold, but I didn't like it without the sand. It wasn't quite as good. Um, the Chapel Bridge in Lucerne. When you go to Lucerne, one thing you do is you take this nice bridge and this historic, historic bridge across the river. Um, unfortunately, it burned down in, what, 1994? Something like that. Something like that. Mom had been on the original one before it burned down, but they, they had a lot of, you could see they had tried to recover and restore a lot of the burnt stuff, but that, that was all out of there. Um, and then there is a, in Bologna, there wasn't much going on, but there's a big square that had the statue of Neptune and yeah. it was kind of a, uh, uh, mockery of the Pope type of a thing, right? Yep. Yeah. So that was pretty weird, but we got a lot of pictures there. That's for sure. Um, now we're into the top half. Yep. And so we're getting tough and the, you know, these are all great places. I mean, you got to say that, right? Joe, yep. these are all really good things. It's just that some of these things are better than others. Like Doge's Palace, this is one thing that you really wanted to go to in Venice, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And we got to go there. Yeah. And, uh, and right next to Doge's Palace or connected to Doge's Palace as part of that tour, there's the jail. Yep. Yeah. So we got to walk across the side bridge, right? To go over to the jail section and stuff like that. Um, Vatican Museum. Pretty impressive, but you know, a lot of walking and loft all the way down. So the museum part of it, you know, it had all that great stuff and things like that. Uh, perfume factory that we went to and ends. Um, you know what? That was better than I thought it would be. Yeah, yes, we, cool. and I heard that. That's what John said that it was that. that um, when we were in Zurich, we went to the churches. Where we go, we went to Grossmünster and St. Peter's. I think Frauenster required a five dollar entry fee, yeah. and we weren't going to do that because we only had a few minutes and everything like that. But uh, that was that was the only real. 
well, I guess we went to a couple other churches, but we tried to avoid making this an ABC tour, right? Another bloody church type of thing. So, but Zurich was a good place to start with that type of stuff. Um, okay, 11 through 15. So here come the honorable mentions for the top 10, right? Yep. Um, Lucerne City Wall, that's funny that we would put that on there, you know, because that's not actually part of the official tour or anything yep. like that. But remember that we just kind of, the, the group just kind of stumbled upon it. Didn't yeah. It? Yeah. So that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Though? You had to walk up those steps and everything like that. Yep. Um, you think the best part you like about the city wall is the story of the zip line going from one tower to the yep. other? <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Yep. Um, where uh, where people actually thought it was serious when I said there was there used to be a zip line that went from one tower to the other, and they had to they had to get rid of it because the quality of the steel was failing because of the war um, in southern France. All right. Um, the Verona Arena, that was pretty cool. Would have been neat to go in though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's. They say it's the best preserved, better the better preserved than the Colosseum, but it's because they didn't start tearing that thing down like they did with the Colosseum. So that was pretty good. Um, Roman Forum. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a hard thing to characterize, isn't it? it it's you know, um, Roman Forum. It's it's huge area, isn't it? Yeah. And it's just very old, right? And yeah. it's really cool to think, okay, Julius Caesar was cremated here and stuff like that. And it's all, you, know, you think you're walking the same same places as Julius Caesar and stuff like that. Um, do you remember how, what the forum, name forum means? Um, not really. Fora. No. Remember what fora means? Like what? what no. Um, um, like foreigner and forest, where they refer to. Outside, right? Outside, yeah. Yeah, so, so forum is, comes from the Latin word fora, which means outside. So foreigners are outsiders and forests are outside. Things like that. So we learned that on our trip. Um, Julia's house in Verona. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and then St. Peter's Square. We didn't get to go into St. Peter's Basilica, so that didn't we, we didn't get that done. But we did get to the square and everything like that. I was really impressed. I thought maybe it's a corona thing, but I thought the... Uh, uh, I was expecting St. Peter's Square to be far more crowded than it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, I said there, there were a couple other EF tours there at the time. All right, so let's go to the top ten. All right. Um, number ten, what do we got? Gondola ride. A gondola ride in Venice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, the only thing I was disappointed about was the fact that our, uh, our gondola driver didn't sing, did he? Yeah. I asked him to sing, and he said he couldn't. Yeah, I thought a gondola ride was supposed to sing. Um, hey, the great thing about this is we were we were going through the same area, the same canals as uh, Tweety and Granny, right? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Number nine. Castle Vecchia. Castle Vecchia. Where's that? Uh, that was in Verona. That was in Verona as well. Yeah. So um, this is another one that was off the beaten path, and so not part of the tour. But uh, something that Joe had mentioned that he or looked up and seen that was there and he wanted to go see. We didn't go inside or anything like that. We only had about an hour, 45 minutes on the grounds. But that was really neat, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It, it was such a classic uh, traditional castle. Number eight. Lion Monument in Lucerne. That was in Lucerne, wasn't it? That Lion Monument. Yeah. That was cool. We got there kind of at dusk and stuff like that. That was kind of a neat thing to see. Yeah. I agree. Um, number seven. The Sistine Chapel. Yeah, um, very impressive and everything. I think I think the reason this drops down to seven for me, Joe, and I, I'm I, I'm not going to argue with that, is that, um, you know, it looked like the pictures, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, you had seen so many pictures of it ahead of time, so you kind of knew what was to expect there, and and so it really did look like the pictures, and uh, yeah. um, so I think we got a little bit too much information ahead of time that uh, once we got in there, there wasn't as much to see. Yeah. I think that could have been it. Number six. Uh, Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain in Rome. Now, that was fun that night, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. We, uh, um, you threw your coins in there and everything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, now that was something you were also looking very, very, very much looking forward to doing, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, that was cool. Um, number five. The Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps, yeah. This is your first trip to the mountains that you remember, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what are some great things about that trip 
What'd you like best? Is it like the view from the top, getting there, or what a part of it? Um, the view from the top. View from the top was pretty neat. Yeah, we could see the three lakes and everything like that. How about walking up the snow, <laughs> the snow pass and things like that? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this was cool, getting up into the mountains that way. And uh, the weather was great. That was the nice part about it. We didn't have any problem. We could up there. We could see everything. That's the thing. Number four. Roman Coliseum. Roman Coliseum. That was cool. I got it there. I... What do you th what what struck you the most about the Roman Colosseum that you thought was? I um, I didn't expect to see like the underground spots. Oh it. yeah, I, because, thought, I thought it'd be like covered up and everything. Yeah, so they they had, they had excavated the floor so you could actually see the all the paths underneath and everything like that, and yeah. you can see the, you know, the uh, cages and all that stuff that used to be original down there. Yeah, no, I agree. That was neat. Um, I just was, I was impressed by how big it was, yeah. right? Well, it's, it was just absolutely huge. You can't, you can't just imagine the scale of that thing. Number three. Uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Leaning Tower of Pisa. That was neat, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, you know, people in the past, they didn't used to be able to climb up that. I think Aunt Mary said she wasn't able to climb up when she was there. But uh, that was great that week. Well, at least when her original, maybe it was Aunt Sarah who did that, but. We were able to climb that up. It wasn't that. Steps weren't too many, was it? No. No, it wasn't. Do um, you like it from the top better or from the bottom? I like it from the top. Yeah. I just think, you know, I look at my pictures from Lane Tower of Pisa, Joe, and and I was showing them to some of your classmates yesterday, mm -hmm. and and they all said the same thing that I was thinking, that, you know, they, they almost look like they're Photoshopped, right? Because yeah. it's just completely unreal. That's what I think about it. All right, number two. Glass blowing. Glass blowing. Where was that? That was in that was Venice. Venice. Yeah. Um, what was the coolest thing about the glass blowing? Um, just how we did it. it yeah. It's really kind of satisfying to watch him do it. Yeah. I, I, you know, mom, mom likes the fact that he was able to make a glass horse in about three minutes, right? Yep. Yeah. In three minutes, he, he because to make the glass horse, it has to be the right. Uh, uh, the right temperature of the glass and so he got it right at the right temperature and then he just started doing it and whipped it out and the next thing you know he had a horse in his hand and it just took like a minute to do it i've seen a lot of glass blowing demonstrations in the past and so when he made the vase or whatever he made um i've seen those types of things many times but the glass horse i, I did really like that as well yeah so that was your second favorite thing yep yeah um what was your favorite thing the oceanographic institute oceanographic in institute in monaco in monaco yeah so Oceanographic Institute, another thing that wasn't on our uh, on our tour, but we went there as a family. Um, Joe had seen that and said he wanted to go see it. We saw some artifacts from Jacques Cousteau's uh, travels, um, mainly in aquarium. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was I think that I think the one when, when I think of the Oceanographic Institute, I think is mainly in aquarium. Uh, what were some of the cool cool animals in the aquarium? It was a giant turtle. The giant turtle. You love the turtle, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I got I got lots of pictures of you with the turtle. So the turtle was in the outside section there. What else? Uh, the axolotls. The axolotls. Now, I don't think I'd ever seen those before in an aquarium or a zoo. Mm -hmm. That was really neat. Um, and then there's one more that I that I know I like. Uh, the octopus. Yeah, the, the octopus. It was actually a pretty big octopus. Wasn't yeah, it, it wasn't was. a giant octopus, but he wasn't yeah. small or anything like that. It was pretty big. And he was moving around pretty good and everything like that. So, yeah. So that's it. So your number one, your number one place that you saw was the Oceanographic Institute, glass blowing, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Roman Colosseum, Alps, Trevi Fountain, Sistine Chapel, Lion Monument, that's Casa right. Vecchia, and Gondola Ride. That's your top ten. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd agree completely with you, but yeah. it, you know it's all right. I, I I really liked all those things that you said, and and uh, I know I could tell when we were on our trip that those were the types of things you really enjoyed, and so it was great. I think the thing I like the best about this, Joe, is how many of these things are things that you had on your list of things you wanted to see yeah. on the trip. Um, such a great idea. Do your homework ahead of time and say, when I go to this city, this is what I would like to see if we can. We didn't get to see everything on your list, did you? No. Did no, not at all. But a lot of the things we really did. Doge's Palace was on your list, and we went to see it, right? Yep. And things like that. So, uh, um I think that made it that made a trip so much even better for for all of us because you had done that and Greg had done a little bit of that not as much but you, but you guys had did that and I love the fact that you you think about where you're going what you're going to do when you get there yep. and it makes it more satisfying when you do that yeah right anything else you want to say about our trip not really no no but you had a great time you want to do it again sometime sure 
You gonna go to Greece in two years? Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mrs. Scott will like that, I bet. Yeah, I love yeah, that. The, the question is whether who's go who's all gonna go with you. That one could be a little bit harder. Maybe you have to go on your own. Be, I'll, I'll be fine with that. You'd be fine with that? Yeah. You're you're a good season traveler now. You're an international traveler, Jill. Yeah, you know how it all works. I like to reach. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed our daily updates from our trip on our vlog that we did from our, our trip to Europe. So yep, this one's getting a little long. This one's getting a little long, so we're yep. going to cut it off now and say uh, wrap it up. So now that we're back home, bye, everybody.